What is up, people? Half Slab Bacon here, and we are on 2B2T. Two builders, two tools is what it stands for. So, guys, um, this video popped up like about a month ago in uh, in my recommended feed on the YouTubes, and it said oldest server in Minecraft. So, you know, I kind of figured I'd check it out, and I watched it, and it was this server here, which you can see is quite frankly, a hot mess. It really, really is. And you can see by the chat already that it's kind of a mess. Uh, we are in the current version of Minecraft. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And as you can see, it's very, very busy. There's tons of people on here. And it looks like utter chaos. It really does. And when I was watching this, it was a fair-sized YouTuber, um, yeah. And I was watching it and thinking, this is freaking horrible. Like, is this really the oldest server in Minecraft? And I kind of watched for a little bit, and my heart was, like, almost saddened a little bit. To think that Minecraft's oldest server would be a wasteland like this. So this is what's known as an anarchy server, meaning there are no rules and no mods or any of that and people kill each other, people do all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, you can already see there's a whole bunch of withers around so basically you're fighting for your life like you can see the wall I know from watching previous videos there's a lava curtain around here so yeah I watched kind of a bit of that video and it really did sadden my heart to think that this is like the oldest example of people playing together I mean you can see it looks like people have created traps to prevent you from even getting out of spawn. Um, now it is on peaceful, so we don't have to worry about mobs. But I'll take a little damage here. I don't care. Um, to try and get anything accomplished, like you can see, there's no crops around. Uh, nothing of any kind. It'll take us forever to break a block by our hand. Like, really, it would be a chore to even get out of here. To go try and find somewhere decent where we can do something. This is complete chaos. It really, really is. And hopefully we don't bump into those withers. So I did a little studying, guys, and I figured I would actually find out, is this really the oldest Minecraft server? Is this what the oldest Minecraft server has actually become over time? A oh, little bit of a frame rate lag there. So let's start with a bit of a Minecraft history lesson. Like, what a mess. This is really... Like, this is what... The oldest server in Minecraft has become. This is it. This is... This is it, people? So, let's, let's look at the history lesson here. So, Minecraft's development had... Four versions. Classic, Alpha, Beta, and Release. Okay, four core versions. Now, multiplayer was first a thing in June, the very first day, June 1st of 2009. Notch did his first multiplayer test in Classic. And in Classic, June of 08, it was released. So those are versions 0.0.15a 
slash 01 respectively, and the first release under Classic of multiplayer was June 8th 0.0.16a slash 01. So the actual oldest server was a private server that Notch set him up himself on June 1st of 09 for testing. Now, the actual release of multiplayer in alpha was August 4th version 1.0.15 now that's a long time ago guys that's uh, seven years ago so is this server seven years old well I don't know if you guys oh he's holding his that's that's mature I can just imagine the age of the average player on this server, on this hot mess of a server. So 2B2T, which this uh, YouTuber that shall remain nameless, he's pretty big, so um, you might have seen his videos or seen his videos on this server. Uh, claims this is the oldest server. Well, you can do a, a lookup on websites, guys, to see when they were first registered. And it turns out 2B2T was registered in March of 2013. So that's a solid three years after multiplayer was a thing. So I don't know why this YouTuber that shall remain nameless Rusher, claims this is the oldest server to ever exist. To me, a three-year window seemed like a long time. So, I figured, and even still, we have Notch's test server. That was a thing. But I figured I'd go dig a little deeper. And, yeah, it turns out there was a public server registered on August 4th, 2010, the very day multiplayer became a thing. So guys, this is not Minecraft's oldest server. And that made me happy because the thought that Minecraft's oldest server was this highly wasteland, which People basically kill each other and intentionally place blocks to stop others from surviving this hot mess of a server, in my opinion, is without a doubt an example of the Minecraft community at its absolute worst. I can think of no other way of describing it. Like, look, there's no crops here. Like. What else can you say? It's Minecraft at its worst. This just somebody's tunnel? Yeah, this is somebody's tunnel. I mean, does this look like the kind of server you want to play on? Does this look like the claim to fame of multiplayer for one of the best games ever made? Well, I think it's one of the best games ever made. Anyway. Well, thankfully, it's not. And Bacon figures I should show you what the real oldest server in Minecraft looks like. All right, guys, we are on MinecraftOnline.com, the actual oldest public Minecraft server to ever exist. The IP was actually established you can look it up yourself if you want. I did, I double checked. The day Minecraft multiplayer was made an official release thing. Um. Oh yeah, we're in dot one, one .710. There's no running, is there? There was no sprint, was there? I can't even remember. When, when was sprint a thing? No, there was sprint back then, wasn't there? Sprint, left control. Older version of OptiFine. So, guys, um, this server does have rules, as we're about to see. 
So, they even have it in multiple languages, as you can see. And are those following us? Oh, they are. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Very cool. Some of these sections are, oh, not yet available. They haven't translated it to every language yet, but they are here. So the rules are very simple. All bans are permanent. One, do not grief. That means modifying or, or anything else someone built. Modifying or destroying, technically. Do not spam. Spam is sending any repetitive or nonsensical chat messages. Three, do not cheat. This means mods like X-Ray, Fly, or anything else unfair. For more information, you can ask a mod. Now you can see it's not super crazy right now, but it always seems to have some people on it. So they have a tour set up and there's some way to spawn. I think, I don't know if we have to go through the tour, but let's check it out let's see what the oldest minecraft server is actually like looks like we're in a ooh leaves the tour at any time with splash slash spawn project angel was organized by slow riot and built by many players it is a hundred percent hand placed wool Fredonia is home to many super builds like this. Go out and explore. See blah 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 for more info. So I have seen the website guys and you can literally basically they've got every build. Every build. Green pads will take you forward. Okay. So we don't want to get on that yet. In front of you is the central nexus. It contains work pads to eight points in Fredonia. The Nexus system is an ongoing effort to link locations on the server for easy access. Use the Nexus to plan your next adventure. So that's the Nexus. Now see guys, this is what I want to see on the oldest server in Minecraft. This is some good stuff here. Like look at that. That's, that's a beautiful build. This is Minecraft at its best. And you can tell when we zoom in. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be C. Now I remember. Ah! And I changed it to... Yeah, it's supposed to be C for camera. You can tell when you look at the build that, like, we're using all old blocks here, man. I mean, some would have been updated as versions went by, but this is the real deal here, peeps. Art installation by Maddie Q. Like, it looks peaceful, it looks beautiful, there's real builds here. Blue pads will take you back. Let's see what else is in the tour, guys. Let's do the tour today. Where are we going? It's raining, it's boring, we're not in a snow biome. Oh-ho! Diamond Mall is your one-stop location for all your Minecraft needs. Browse, browse the shops for items, talk to an admin, to set up your own stall. Simply type warp diamond hall. So they even have like warp points to get to the shops and stuff. Look at this. Seriously? Look at that. That's some nice work there. That is some nice work. That is, now, are there shops inside that or is it just, I think the shops are down here it looks like. But beautiful build guys. Beautiful build. What else do we have around here? Over the next hill here is a Nexus branch. It contains warp pads to central Nexus data. Okay. So each branch is similarly built. So they all kind of look the same. So wherever you are, it's easy to find a warp pad. That's nice. Already, I'm liking this server. Next location, please. Well, that falls got to are we hurting yet? No, we're still not hungry. One of the favorite spots in Fredonia is Lava Town. It's originally a creation of Shy Pixel and Mr. Dax. This is beautiful. They give history. Its history is rich in epic lore. See the wiki. 
Many players frequent the town, which is reachable via the Nexus system. Wow. It's a lot of lava all over the place. I'm not sure I want to go down there. I might get killed. Wow. But look at the builds, guys. Like, this is... This is Minecraft's older, oldest server. This is awesome. Below is a Pigchinko board. Pigchinko is a favorite Fredonian pastime. Players ride on pigs in an attempt to score as many points as possible before time runs out. It's a game of chance and whiz, wh whim, whim, talk much bacon, whimsy. Tournaments are often held, so keep an eye out. Pigchinko, like Lava Town, was invented by Shypixel. Many boards exist around the server. So that's for the pig game. I like a game with pigs. I love Minecraft pigs. They're the best. Like, this is nice, guys. Look at that. See, and you've got all early game blocks. Like, that's true history there. This is true history, guys. That's what we should see represented for the Minecraft community on its oldest public server. Not a bunch of eight-year-olds running around griefing, but actual builds. Leave the tour at any time with spawn. I don't know who this is. It's Rogue Seeker. He's checking stuff out. Hi, Rogue Seeker. So it says, Welcome to Artville. As the name suggests, is home to many pixel art displays. Players may seek permission to add to the collection. For an up-close view, you can use Warp to Artville. Look at this. We got Iron Man. We got Mega Man. Oh, we got the star from Mario. This is awesome, guys. Oh, there's Mario. Oh, and a cart and toad. Oh, we got the ghost. Like, is that Batman? I am Batman. Many classic video characters are here. Yeah, you're sure right. Look, oh my God, Bowser. And, oh, wow, it's a thing. I love it. This is, this is good, guys. This, the, what do you guys think? Like, if, if you go to check out the actual map, this place is insanely huge. You could spend years just running around the server, checking out all the things. So Jelly Cake is a game made by the admin Flying Jellyfish. The object of the game is to eat all of your cake before the other players. The winner is determined by whoever finishes first. Maybe one day I'll have a chance to play Jelly Cake with Jellyfish herself. That would be cool. Hi Jellyfish, if you ever see this video. Oh, there's, there's the dude. Should we put our F1 on? This is, this is some real good stuff, guys. This is some real good. This is Minecraft history, guys. Minecraft history. I wonder how long this tour actually is. Whoa. Okay. Glenn Fittick was founded by Andrew Adiel in May 2000. Well, Glenn Fittick the booze or this location? Oh wow, is that like an actual carbon copy of, no it's not, of the brewery itself? No it's not. It has since been expanded by a group of players known as Glen Team, as the largest town of Fredonia, by area spanning about one square kilometer. That's big guys. Its many attractions include that pig thing. A cinema where you can watch short film public tree harvesters and the head and block museums. Look at this. Oh my. The harbor is connected to two boat routes. The great circle route marked with green and white bayous and something route with autumn marked with light green, white stuff and things. This is, that's beautiful stuff. I could... I could wander around here. An extensive metro system takes you to all parts of the city. Main station is accessible from the entrance. Building at the warp, additionally, a number of teleporters can bring you to some points of interest. 
instantly from the warp hub in the entrance building. Okay. For a guided tour around the central districts, take the orange metro line from the central station. See, like this is, that's, look at that. Look at that, guys. That's some nice builds. I wonder how long this tour is. Seriously. Wow, that was a nice fall. This is Xenotopia. The entire city has been built by the player Xenot. It is one of the most impressively large one-man projects on the server. Much of the city isn't even visible from here. Wow. Yeah, I would say not as it's still all rendering in as slowly as it is. Wow, guys. What? Is, is that like a blimp? Is that supposed to be a blimp? I think that's supposed to be a blimp, guys. That is cool. Wow, the swearing is strong with these people. Not as strong as on 2B2T, though. This, this is a scale model of the Babylon 5 station. Oh, it's Babylon 5. Ah, shows how much of that show I ever watched. It was also constructed by Zinnuk. Look at this, guys. Look at this. This is awesome. I love it. There's so much here. There's so much here. It's beautiful. Below here in all directions are massive pixel art images of Pokemon. They are made by Jonathan Panda. They extend beyond visible distance. See, now this is what Minecraft is about, people. Being creative. Even in survival mode. It's about making the world your oyster. Doing things that you think are... That's some impressive pixel art. Doing things that you think are cool. Like Pokemon. I mean, who do... Hey, are there multiple blimps? Are other people taking tours from here? Oh, or are those like warp points to look down on? I bet you those are warp points to look down on the Pokemon. Oh, no. They're just signs to see from here with the names, Reiku. I see. Yeah, that's cool, man. Guys, this is an impressive server. Okay. Go up. I guess we're at spawn. Is that the end of the tour? Oh, no, it's not. Avalon was originally a set of natural villages found grown by slow riot and flying jellyfish it has since been expanded and made awe-inspiring well that looks like a village wow that's a nice build up in there look at that guys all with like those are like alpha blocks that's all alpha blocks this is beautiful Oh, that looks like it's been handcrafted a little bit. That's nice work. This really is Minecraft at its best. So impressive. Is there, there's more? There's like more cathedrals and... Okay, well, those aren't alpha blocks, but it looks good. Most of it's alpha blocks, though. Is that like, oh, the university inspired by William Playfield's old college building in Edinburgh, England. Yeah, it, I've seen photos of that building. It really does look pretty similar. It's not a one-to-one. -one. I have seen a one-to-one. -one. Um, who did that? Somebody built it in one of Corrales' build servers. It was crazy. It was crazy, guys. It was insane. But yeah, this is this is this is awesome stuff, guys. I am really impressed here. This location is called Visma. It was primarily made in its own by uh, that guy. It has many types of buildings, including its own shopping district. To the right is the Accord HQ. The Accord HQ is an exclusive PvP group. Ah, I'm scared! Ahead you can see another example of 
those boards, the big boards. You can get to the town by Warp Visma. That's, again, like all alpha blocks. Or is that spruce? That might be spruce. I can't tell it, if it's just shadows or spruce. It, even if it is spruce, the rest is all. No, I think it's oak. All alpha blocks, alpha and beta blocks. Wow. <gasps> Look at that pirate ship. That's awesome. Below and to the right is an impressive ship made by FMX Stick. FMX Stick? That's cool. That's some nice work. I want to see that close up. Like, guys, this is impressive, okay? This is, this makes me warm and fuzzy. I could tour around this for probably episode after episode and get inspired by all this stuff. Don't worry about explosions, creepers, and TNT. Okay, so mob griefing is off. That's what he said, right? Yeah, mob griefing is off. That's good. Methylos Desert Oasis District. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. That's some nice work up in there. I really like that. If you want to build here, show FMX Stick an example of your design skills, if interested. That's cool, man. Yeah, apparently certain areas are, are protected from building, or if you do build and it's not up to build standards, it will be taken down, because they treat this whole thing as, like, a, a monument of Minecraft history. Now, the farther you go out on the server, the less restrictions. It apparently works from spawn out. The Sprazzler's Cottage, Ark's House. Okay, so this is where people actually live. Like, look at that. That is some nice work. You know, and it blows my mind because you didn't have, like, Efficiency 5 and Beacons and all that back in the day. So just gathering the materials for this took so much more work back in the old days than it does now. It really, really did. And it just goes to show you the dedication. Are we not going to teleport here? Oh. Okay, there was an invisible info behind me. You are floating over Port Dull, a seaport at a former edge of civilization found by some guy, Lothendal. It started with the harbor and yellow bouncer statue. Later, a mansion district and farms were added. The castle, Tannhauser Gate, and the Martello Tower serve as the western fortifications. Get here by rail, take Lava Town Line at spawn change. Blah, blah, blah. Climb down for more information and view. Foot warp caverns follow road to manor turns so to the yeah, whatever. Just show us the stuff, man. More really impressive to there's a lot of really impressive town builds here, guys. This is some nice stuff. Like we've already been on this tour for like 20 minutes. Like that's some awesome old school stuff that is some awesome old school tower building there's another very impressive ship that's just loading in i'd like to get like over on that boat and yellow bouncer da 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 yeah wow wow guys this is this is a good thing we have no food we're gonna die <laughs> We're gonna starve to death and end up back at spawn because we have no. Okay, welcome to something in Japanese. Built primarily by the Spazzler. You can get a close up look. Like to build here, please ask. I love how they say, like, you wanna build here? You wanna contribute to this? Ask. 
Whoa, don't don't kill me. That's some nice work though. I I've never attempted this, but I've always kind of wanted to, like to get those roofs. Um those are really nice, but I'll, I'll be perfectly honest, I've seen far more detailed and impressive by uh, Zisto in some of his buildings, and I think if I were to try and take a lesson from someone, it would be him. But this on its own is very impressive, beautiful. Like, yeah, this is, this is nice stuff, guys. And it really does capture that Japanese feel. That's, that's impressive. That's nice. Wow. The builds here are just, I don't know how long this goes on for. I don't want to stop. Welcome to Statue Park. There's a giant dog and a slime ball. Oh, this is cool. Made by Gabu Contains all statues of mobs and players. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. That's... Is that... Yes, it is. Definitely got some YouTubers there, peeps. Definitely. Is that the diamond mine... I can't see him. I think that's Dan TBM, which is fitting seeing as he's next to Stampy there. Or is that Dan? No. Yeah, no, no. That looks like it might be. I don't know. Who cares? This is impressive stuff. Look at that's an old school skeleton. I wish I could see him up close. Old cave spider texture. Oh, wow. Look at that dragon. That is awesome. Is there a staircase leading up to the dragon? Oh, that is cool. An endermite. This is some in seriously impressive work. Wow. Wow, guys. Wow. This server is... Go I, I really... You know, the only problem is you'd never live. Bakery, Slaughterhouse, Haunted Ruins, Harbor, stuff. Yeah. That's what all that said. It's kind of hard to see from here, but... Look up. Ooh. The original crash in bad weather, 1910. Okay. What the? What the shiznay? What am I stepping on? That's, wow. Seriously? That's a nice build. Wow. We're, we're, we're we're going, ooh, I like this already. Colorful. Founded by Anna28 and Pieapple42. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. That's a nice windmill. I like it. I like it a lot. Is this like all? It is all islands. It's all islands. <gasps> okay. I was gonna say, it wasn't me. That's beautiful, though. That is beautiful. Do we have a status effect? Eh, <laughs> the crafting grid's all messed up. Eh. <laughs> okay, wait, what? Which? I guess we go here? What tour would be complete without a visit to spawn? This is the center of activity in Frodonia and is the point where f visitors first set foot. 
The Grand Fidonia Central Rail is founded in Spawn as well as Fable Cake. If you get hungry, just slash Spawn and you can walk over to the Visitor Center for free cake. Oh, that's cool. Where's the free cake? Here is one of the rail and skyways that cross over Fredonia linking even the most remote areas. Wow. Well, we got to go check out Spawn before we spawn, sign, sign out, guys. This is nice. Oh, yeah, that's some old school decoration there. Griefers will be banned. The server is set up to log destruction. Make yourself at home and build anywhere that's free. So it auto de I don't want to take it. I want food. We need food. PvP zone. Spawn garden, come and relax here. Very nice. Yeah, like look, old alpha builds. Yeah. What is it? Answer on back. It's a moose. It's a moose. It's a baba moose. Strong. Okay, well, it's a moose. It's a, it's a nice looking moose. I like the moose. This is cool, guys. This is very cool. Very cool. What's this? Kia's random gift chest. There's no gift. Where's my gifts? What do we got going on up in here? The official Minecraft Online friend zone. This room is for playing with... So, oh, you like list your name to get a hold of people? Place your Reddit username here. Oh, okay. I get it. Lift down. Okay, cool. Cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Like, you get a warm sense of community here. I made some new bows. Hungry, milk the cow to get some mushroom soup. Well, the bowls are all gone, so we're not getting mushroom stew. This is somebody's house. Very pretty. Oh, that's nice. For alpha work, this is, whoa. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. I like it. Oh, it brings back memories of what Minecraft used to be. It's grown so much. It really, really has. That's a lot of pumpkins. So, where are we now? What do we got going on? We're just gonna wander aimlessly until I starve to death. Is probably what's gonna happen. <laughs> wow. This is nice. What do we got up in here? Ooh, pretty. I like this. Dark oak, no doubt added later on. Just some random places of walkingness. Oh, we can't sprint anymore. This is bad, guys. This is bad. Oh, that looks beautiful. What a view from up here. Oh, so nice. Um, hi, creepers. Is he seeing me? He can't see me. I wonder. Uh oh. Hi guys. Uh oh, leg issues. Okay, let's go. I know them. I know they can't play break blocks, but just in case, let's get out of here. They can't break blocks, but they can break me. Stripping pole. Hmm. Nice. Is there some food? Where's this? Where's the, where's the stuff and things? Ow. There's the cows. Hey, that looks cool. I like this, guys. Um. Ow. <laughs> I don't care. We're gonna starve to death soon anyways. There's so much to explore here. Can I kill a chicken? I get sick from eating raw chicken, though. 
There's probably no coal in any of the furnaces. Can we... Huh! What's up in here? Anything? This looks like it might be pixel art. You need to look out from up there. Is the... This is beautiful. I love it, guys. I love it. I really do. This is... This is just... It's... Wow. I mean, you go on servers to, like, do stuff and build awesome builds and stuff, but... It's really pretty cool to see a server that... Everything's built already. And you can just walk around and tour. What's the command again to edit macros? It's edit macros. Yeah, edit macros. That's never mind, I'll shut up now. Nice waterway. Well, guys, I don't know what to say. Um, I'm impressed, and it seems like I could tour this thing for hundreds of episodes and just constantly find new stuff. Ooh, we got to check this out. That's some, that's some nice work here. Some very nice work. I'm impressed. Is there a door? No, no, no door. Not meant to go inside, just meant to be a cool looking build. Very, very nice. Does this go down into a basement? Kind of, sort of. I'm gonna start dying soon. Off-road trail. No, we don't want an off-road trail. We want some mushrooms too. So I don't starve to death. Meow. This is really like, just when I think about the amount of work that went into some of these builds, public nether portal, there's the tunnel. There's some hay bales. Trees within this stone brick border may be cut down. Only if you cut down the whole tree and put a sapling there. Okay. Is there any, any wood? Any wood? Palladrome's diamond block. So you can get your wood here and get started, which is, that's good. Nothing at all suspicious about this missing shrub. Okay. For a bigger map, use map or see the website. This is, look at this. This is so cool. Like seriously? Oh, okay, there's the spawn map. Wow. And that's just spawn. Wow. Well, guys, I, uh... I don't know what to say here. There's the visitor center. I think I can get free food up in there. There's enchanting and everything. That was a cool tour. That makes me feel warm and fuzzy about the oldest server in Minecraft. So, guys... Why don't you smash that like if you enjoyed this episode and especially if you want to see more of this server. But also to help others like yourself who might enjoy the content find the channel. And if you're new and you haven't already, hit that subscribe video for more videos, peeps. And let me know in the comments and by smashing that like if you want me to continue touring this server. It is survival. So I'll have to grind to get food and resources and stuff. But I would be more than happy to just tour around the server, checking out all the things and maybe eventually find a place to build our own. Let me know in the comments, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.